Hey guys, so I'm going to try to make the definitive video about how to connect to the Matrix server at Seneca College um, with our VPN service. Okay, so hopefully I'm going to be going through all the steps, show you how to um, create a, get a terminal emulator, um, how to log in, how to connect to the VPN, and all sorts of good stuff. So I'm using Windows use Windows or Mac or Linux, um, but uh, this is going to be the version of things where hopefully everything works and you guys can get started. If you're going to be using Linux, uh, there's workarounds. Just talk to me, okay? So I'm going to open up my browser over here. Let's dump this over here. So we're going to be doing, and I'll just make sure, private... Okay, so let me go into, let me do a search for Seneca College. Uh, we're going to be doing My Seneca. So for this, we're going to be using the My Seneca username that you've been given. Um, so you can feel free to log in with this. Um, now we're going to be looking for the VPN instructions. So let me do this. I'm going to be doing um, My Seneca. VPN. Uh, the links to all these sort of documents and things you will um, see in a document that I'm going to have post onto Blackboard. Okay, so here we go. Um, we're going to be following these instructions. First of all, to set up the Global Protect VPN. This has a client for Windows and for Mac. So let's go ahead and you're going to go to studentvpn.senecacollege.ca. Um, I'm going to be going to the employee one um, but the instructions should be very similar for us. We're just going to be using Student VPN and Seneca VPN. Okay, so I'm going to go over here. So I will be using my stuff over here. And this would be... And so what you might have, what I have is basically um, a two-factor authentication that I have to do. I'm not sure if they've set that up for students. I think probably they have not. Okay, so I get over here. I'm going to be downloading for 64-bit. Let's save that file. Okay, we're back. So once we have finished this, I'm going to get this started. We're just going to go through the process of installing this. So we'll go and we'll just accept the defaults for the moment. Press close to exit. Okay, so now that that's done, um, we will enter our portal address. I'm just going to go back and make sure I'm not uh, missing any steps here. So, yes. So, down here, um, you probably don't see this, but let me move my little thing over here. Now I'm on the other side. So, what you will most likely see, or what I would be seeing, is um, a uh, pop-up to basically say, oh, here it is. No, that's not it. Oh, it disappeared. Well, that sucks. So let me go global protect. Okay, so there we go. So now I have a little um, box at the bottom here, and what I would be using is Seneca VPN. You guys will be using student VPN, so I'll just go ahead and enter that in. So I'm going to be entering over here. You can see over in my little right there yeah so seneca vpn.seneca college.ca and we should be able to click that okay so i'm going to assume that uh no news is good news oh there we go portal not found Please re-enter or contact administrator for help. Okay, great. Oh, I think because I have the HTTP. Yeah, so let's take that out. So it's going to Seneca VPN, 
And just in case, I am going to go and make these uppercase. So let's go ahead. Okay. And so once again, I'm going to be asked for my username and for my password. So apparently, I should be logged in now. It says that I'm connected down at the bottom here. Um, so that's great news. I can move on to some of the next steps. Okay. Um, hopefully what you see here is um, a bunch of, this is our ULI 101 wiki. So this will be one of your first steps to get done. Um, there is a guide over here for connecting to um, matrix. So you can follow these steps here. Um, I'm going to go and install, um, what, which one I haven't, I, oh, MOBA Xterm seems pretty good. So I'll click over here. We are going to be looking for the installer edition. So I just going to get it installed. Oh man, I have to open a zip file. Okay. Let's go ahead and extract these actually. Uh, we'll just extract them right there and let's go ahead and actually install this properly. I accept the terms. Let's go and install. Yes. Um, guys, what you're going to find is that there is a glut, an absolute glut of terminal emulators out there. There's PuTTY, there's SSH, there's one that was um, a Windows one that apparently doesn't work on my machine for whatever reason. Um, but whatever you use doesn't really change too much of the end result. Um, you maybe get to change some colors or fonts or something like that. So let's try MOBA. There we go. First time startup. Terminal emulators are supposed to be very, very simple programs. So I don't know why we're going through all this rigmarole. Stuck at 97%. There we go. And we'll allow access for this. Okay. So um, this is probably a bells and whistles kind of terminal emulator. I can see a lot of interesting things here. I'm going to go to quick connect here. Let's do sessions. I'm going to be doing an SSH session. Um, yeah, this looks more like it. So my remote host is going to be matrix.senecacollege.ca. Um, my username, I will specify that is going to be, this is going to be your my Seneca username. So the same one that you use to log into Blackboard, uh, will be this basically. So there we go. Username, Seneca College. Let's hit OK. And you will see this. You will see a message uh, saying, Welcome to Matrix. Um, and you will see a prompt for your password. So when you're typing in your password, you won't see anything on the screen. Your cursor will not move. That's OK. So I'll go ahead and enter my password. Hit Enter. Do you want to save the password? Uh, this is my home computer, so sure, why not? Um, and only one, I'm just going to skip that. Let's just cancel that for now. Okay. So here we go. Um, you are now connected to matrix. Um, great. Um, if you are coming to this from OPS 435, you know what to do at this point, hopefully. Um, if you guys are coming in here, uh, to ULI 101, um, Let's cancel that. Oh my goodness. I'm just looking for a way to maybe make the terminal a little bit bigger. There we go. Let's go 14. And display skin selection, Windows bright theme. Oh, I don't need this. Yeah, let's just hit OK. OK, so we applied in the new one, whatever. I'll just get rid of that. Okay, so to access the assignments on Matrix, what you're going to be doing is typing in tilde. The tilde is the curly dash. It's right by your number one key over here. ULI 101 slash. 
And the next thing that is this is the name of the assignment that we're going to be doing. It changes every semester. Uh, let's try A1. So when you go here, what you're going to see is um, the first time you run this is where you're selecting a section. And it's very important that you select the proper section uh, because I only see your work when you are pointing it at the right section. To find out your section, you should be going into Blackboard. You should be looking at the courses that you have. You will see things like ULI 101, NCC, or something like that. So then your section letter is going to be C. Okay, if you see something like, uh, you know, NZZ or ZBB or something like that, um, you should see it in the menu once it's been created for us. So you will enter it here, you'll press enter, you should be good to start on the assignments. Okay, so I hope that was helpful, guys. When you're ready to, when you're ready to exit from here, what you can do is type in exit. Last return to exit tab. Yeah, sure, let's do that. Um, so we can do that. And last thing you'll probably want to do is go down to your global protect over here and just disconnect once you're finished with anything that is related to Seneca College because um, you'll be routing all your internet traffic um, through the VPN. And so, you know, uh, this is useful for when you're doing schoolwork, but n maybe not so useful for any other moment. Okay, so let's disconnect. That should be everything, guys, that you need to get started. Um, thanks for watching.